Good morning, Arthur. Susan! What would we do without you? Turn feral, I imagine. Just know, we're grateful. We'll see you later. Arthur! Arthur! What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until <laughs> we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles? I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Okay then, girl. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was going to play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. Easy. <laughs> Go on. Someone got here first. 
So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Shit. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is... Hmm. Let's take a look around. Found anything? You see anything? This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Mm. Look. Tracks. Come on. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. What are you doing? Let's go. There's some blood here. That ain't good. down the path here how's your tracking these days all right i guess hmm. well lead the way then not the kind of place i'd expect to see trelawney staying in no normally scams himself into the best hotel in town You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? They must have crossed over the tracks. These tracks lead into the forest here. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. What's wrong, Arthur? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> ah, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. 
Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. You hit like a girl. Who do you think you are? Son of a bitch! Okay! Okay! For Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left! Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Well, you cracked his head! All right. That should do it. Let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. It just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Must be it. Whoa! Uh. 
Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that attack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. So uh, you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't let them get away. Could have told them anything. They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out. Look at the birds. Go that way. Flush them out of there, Arthur. Where the hell are they? We need to find these bastards! One more, Charles. Did you see those birds? I see something on the ground over here. He stumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Keep looking, Arthur. He must be close. He's around here somewhere.
He's mine! Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. The gunshots are coming from that bump. for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go. how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West or... What's left of it, but 
Well, even that ain't the way I remember it. You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back chat? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all, big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks.
Yeah. Someone told me you got a wagon here don't belong to you. I'm sick of this fool. Come on! Where you got your wagon? What? Huh?
This way. Come on. Get you back to the dock. this tank. Yeah. Know this feather, don't you? Oh my! Well, look who it is! I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble, now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. 
Travel safe now. I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me! Gav? Gav? I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please! Hey, partner. Uh, listen, have you seen... I, I'm looking for my friend Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Should I fought for you people. Well, for some of you, I guess. So help me get something to eat. Please, now. I need a little food. Okay? I need just a little food. Come on, now I'm hungry. Now I need food. I, I fought when I was asked, but now I'm asking you. Huh? <laughs> 
you can hear me. And they shot off her leg when it got gang green. Now I can't work. I need money. Slavery. I was a mailman. How many one-legged mailmen you ever seen? Oh, I only got one leg. Have a heart. Have a soul. I can't work no more. I ain't worked in 33 years. I'm too old to start now. <laughs> fought for something it turned out wasn't the right thing but that ain't no never mind i, I love my country i love Damn. my state stage coach fastest in town you give me a ride where's your destination Well, fine. You know where to find... I mean... Can I get a ride? So, where are you going to? Suit yourself. Maybe next time, then. Come on. Things to do. Welcome back. Money to be made on the new railroad for those Thanks, who know partner. which way the skip floats. Mm. I got some fine transportation for you here, sir. Can I get a ride, please, partner? Where to, friend? Can you take me to Emerald Ranch, please? That's a quick little ride. Come on, then.
back up, because we're pulling in. Thanks for that. Good luck to you. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Good to see you back, sir. So... What do you got for me today? That's quite a sum. I hope you learned your lesson. What you got for me to send? You have my word. This will reach where you want it to go. How's it going? Thank you for your help. Not again. Hey there. Don't worry. Okay. She's enough. You're okay now. Nice and easy. Don't worry. <laughs> there we are. That's it. Nice and easy. Easy there. <laughs> That's right, girl.
Easy. <laughs> Easy, girl. Just taking this off. Come on, girl. Wait here, girl. Well, who do we have here? That's a fine steed. Got some stable space for rent, if you're interested. Damn, but these will work a long, hard day. Something to behold.
a break from that horse. They're always welcome back. Slow up now. You all right, girl? I miss that nag. Real good one. Take care. Your horses are safe and sound with me. Welcome to you and your horse. Raid ain't got any spare stalls for you. You know, a horse can tell when you're using a cheaper saddle. As soon as you sit down, you're gonna wonder why you didn't buy this sooner. I can't tell you how many times I used that one. It's well worth the price. Oh, yeah. That's a smart choice for your saddle. <laughs> That's a good choice. High quality. Yeah, that'll go real well with the saddle. That's the same one I use, too. I can't tell you how many times I used that one. No harm in Gussie and your horse up. Nice. Oh, you're the type who likes to stand out, huh? Come back any time. I'm always happy to stable that horse.
Easy now. <laughs> yep. There we go. Then you better not drop it. You better not. Come on, you pair of cream pies. Do you want this rally to happen or not? Have some respect. Just leave me be. Well, shit. Guess they got what was coming. Corruption personified. I will cut... Let's make this quick. I'm a busy man. Oh, damn! <laughs>
Yep. Morning, fella. Okay then.
you doing here? I ain't here to cause trouble. Yeah. You ain't looking for gold here, is ya? Cause, uh, I called it. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you to it. Easy, easy.
that horse doing all right? I'm all out of space. Horse trading is what I'm here for. There's a reason this breed fought in all them wars in Europe. Yeah. Listen, I know Watch it. Can be What's the matter with you? But that's because you have a log in your eye. I know I have one in mine. you somewhere, mister? Can I get a ride? Where should I point the horses? <laughs> Roads, please. Well, now, that's gonna take a while, so make yourself comfortable. You. Appreciate it. You want dark pain? Get back to work. Come on, girl. Yeah. 
moving if I was you. <laughs> what did I tell you? Get the hell out of hey, here! Hey, calm down. Maybe you can help us. It ain't like this is going well. Really? Ah, shit. Nothing to lose, I suppose. Come on. The truth is, mister, our last batch of shine didn't turn out so good. You think you can help us with locating some ingredients? We could reward you for your troubles. Sure, why not? You know, wild tobacco might give us the rich, earthy flavor we are looking for. Lucky you, I have that right here. Go on, lazy bones. Toss the plants into the batch so we can test it out. I'm gonna give us a taste. Mmm. Well, ain't so tasty. But dang if I don't get a prickly feeling. Real sharp. Well, that sounds kinda interesting. Why don't we rest up a spell, and then whip up another batch later on? We got a rare victual in that chest there. Take it. I'd say you earned it. Appreciate it. That, then? I'll see you two around, I'm sure. Goodbye. Girl? It's me, Arthur. You can tell me later. There we go. Poor Otis had a wife. The more for his life. Three children, they were brave. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Hi, girl. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Ah, hello, Mr. Morgan. Without romance, we are nothing but monkeys. Monkeys? So the small-minded <laughs> scientists keep telling us. Yeah.
just cannot stand it anymore. I know. I tell you, Tilly, if I hear that voice one more time, so help me God, I will throttle her myself. Miss Jones, Miss Jones. I hear that voice and wake up in a cold sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Jones, what are you doing? Alchemy, Miss Grimshaw. It's my new hobby. I'll let you know when I find the recipe for gold. Oh, very funny. You just be ready for work. Ugh. There she is. Mr. Morgan. Managing to keep everyone in line? I'm doing my best. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got a bout around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. And very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, I see. Hi there.
Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. That's the bastard who almost ruined everything. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah. If you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men, I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. This is the spot. Hold. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. 
I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, old, and very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. It's a free country. Whoa. Did you say a show? It's a small benefit. An opera. Some black water. Did you say? Mrs. Chester Damson. Singer? I flatter. I flatter. <laughs> Stop the coach, my good man. Stop the coach. a small show, but would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo-soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. My meat trickle. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Let's go, girl. Yep. Nicely done, Arthur. A little finesse for once.
Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Yep. Welcome to my shop. Please, come look around. I have a fresh supply of crawfish bait. You won't find better nowhere. What is so interesting? Okay, then. Done deal. Real good doing business with you. Anyone who hunts in the swamps knows I'm the best.
There are these folks in Lemoyne that go by the name of Rattlers. They own a plantation that sit real close to the Flatiron Lake. I've never been anywhere near that place. Bye now. Won't catch fish without my fine product, no. Nope. Easy.
So uh... Easy now. They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? When you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat. He'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. You carry on shooting from that bank. You're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. The 10% who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest, there. That, that's probably where we should look. Let's go look then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Oh, look. On that little beach. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. It's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. I need to get this. Come on, man. 
Closer now. Closer. We caught him! In the middle of his dinner. This is history-making, truly. Nature. In all its glory. And cruelty. Could've been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't! Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? Seventeen feet, nineteen feet, twenty-one feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's twenty-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a twelve-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. There. In the channel. You see its head? Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. Stop too long. Locals are gonna start getting curious. Just just there, please. So so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please. He's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might it might just save him from the taxidermist. <sighs> Fine. But maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Oh, that's the spirit. <laughs> Out you go, then. Get him and, uh, get him to notice you and then turn tail and run. If I'm eating, I hope he eats you, too. Keep going. Through the palm. Oh, it disappeared toward the back of the island. Yep. Oh, he's awake. Uh, Leave him back here. Quick. Come on, Gator. Quick, jump in the boat. In, 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 in. Got him. What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me! I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Oh, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe, maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They gonna be any good? Oh, I certainly hope so. Oh, though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop 
jaw-dropping, but the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. Idiot. You a lawman? Go to hell! Hey. You need to give me all your money right now. Don't play tough about this. 
You better turn heel right now, you hear me? Now, come on. Ah, oh, you're done. Nothing. Damn it. All right, girl. Master. Couldn't have drawn it prettier, no sir. Yo, oh, uh, hey mister! Remember me? Come on over! How you doing today? Well, you see this here? American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Dose this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Oh, well, thanks. Be well, friend. Yep.
It's me! Glad to see you back. Yeah. Hello, sir. Like your new home? I won't miss that other you place, that's for sure. Are as pretty as a picture, my dear. Away with you. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Okay, then. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. What's in your pocket? <gasps> this is going in the pot. Might as well keep the reserves as full as we can. He's the bloody devil. Thank you, Art. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Very nice and he's ours. A few changes never hurt. What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. <laughs> Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> well, <laughs> what did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. Arthur, a dog, a dog. You're gonna have to look after him. I will. Make sure you don't get it into the food. Oh. 